Hello, welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's review is going to be on Tesla. Tesla, one of my favorite bullish bearish trades. And I think the bears are going to start kind of thinning out here, but anytime there's going to be bad news, that's going to be the time that they're going to want to play this trade. Well, everybody knows Tesla, the Model 3, the Cybertruck, the SUV, and the batteries, and the solar panels, and they just got all kinds of, soon they're going to have Starlink. That's going to be another IPO that you're going to really want to get involved in. I mean, that's going to be like another Tesla or another Space or another Bind. These are all, I'm calculating all these new bear trades, bearish bull trades that I'm going to be in that are very volatile. Well, volatility is kind of backed up on Tesla. And I was looking through the news here and I got to found this kind of amusing. Tesla stock is still skyrocketing. Critics are giving up. You know, there's been many of critics. I fought critics all the way when this was down at $100 a share. And I'm still fighting some of them, but they've kind of thinned out a little bit. There have been a lot of squeezes going on and they've had to kind of cover their calls. So that's going to be Tesla. We're going to look at the stock right now. It's in itself. Remember last week we had the offering and we also had the uh, recall of 1,500 2016 SUVs with the power steering. And I think that just took a couple of bolts and should be back in business again. But, you know, like I said before, most cars do have recalls. You know, my, my uh, Ford truck, I've had two on it already, and I've had it for over 13 years. Been a good truck. And so I'm about ready to get me a new one. So it might be that cyber truck. Who knows? Let's go ahead and look at the chart. I've always played this off the VWAP if I have to, but today Tesla did something very interesting. I had a resistance level right here at 813 that I needed to hold. I talked about this last week and I wanted to build a channel and that channel of resistance was right at that 18, 813 area. And we never could bust above that 813, which I was pretty good call. I mean, real good call. And then today, we had that pullback right in the morning, right to a double bottom support that you see here at 775. And she went ahead and started taking off pre-market. Must have been something something in the water here because, I mean, it just skyrocketed and then pulled back right into opening and then pulled back a little bit more. But during the process of the day, we had lower highs. And I love seeing that because that's what it's doing is building an ascending triangle. And that's my bullish pattern, especially on a day trade, that I know that I can still stay in the trade as long as we keep above that trend line. And also, I was playing it off the 200. This is a three-minute right here. So let's look at the one minute. As you know, the moving averages change. And I use the 9, 34, and the 200 EMA. And I always tell the room, if you miss the breakout, let the stock pull back to that 200, and you'll have two or three chances maybe to get back in that trade. Well, we bounced off of it once, twice. It kind of pulled back to that trend line that we had right here that we started. And then she bounced on it again with higher highs, bounced on it again with higher highs, higher lows, and then bam, she hit that triple top resistance, pulled back one more time to that 200, and then had the breakout right into close where it ran all the way up to to a high of 863.89 and here we are again after hours trying to create a double top up here so tomorrow we're going to see how this thing trades it can pull back to support but i don't see it coming back down here to 813 unless we get some kind of headline or they have more trouble with that coronavirus in china that's i'm leery on a few trades with that virus kicking in but i know that the american market is bullish as bullish can get in the years that I've traded it's the most bullish time that I've ever seen Clinton had some pretty good times too but uh he was pro economy you know economics and he said you know it's what it say it's at the it's the economy stupid so that's what it is today too so we've got his low support here at 813 
I got a solid support right here, right around the 838.76. That's where I want to see it hold. This is going to be Tesla. I'm very bullish on it still, and I'm going to be bullish on it for a long time. We did have an ascending triangle breakout right into close, and this can continue on up tomorrow, or it can pull back to this first support level right here, right? At, and that's a pretty good drop if you get to think about it. That's a $30 drop. So that's going to be your low support. Your second one's going to be right here at 848.46. And then that first one's going to be here at 855.55. And we'll just see how the action goes in the morning. I always like to say wait a little time. If you couldn't get into the pre-market and you're playing options, wait for the, give it a little bit of time. Give it 15 minutes, you know, give it 10 minutes, and then it'll finally decide what it wants to do. We did have a triple top, and it did fail that triple top came back to support so this is one you're going to watch we got next resistance to break is going to be this 864.70 i'm going to pull up the 20 day i think i have some more resistances on here that i want to look at i can't see it on there so we're going to go to a different time frame let's go to a 10 day let's see if i can magnify this up one time yep can't do it there either so i'm just going to give you call these numbers out to you and you can write them down on paper we've got the resistance that we got to break right here, and that's going to be 864.05. The next one's going to be up here right around 875.40. And then that third one is going to be right here at 883.42. As you see on this 10-day chart, the stock can go a lot higher and create a double top if it starts to really run. There's people are going to start getting bullish on this trade again, and it might be the time to go ahead and hold you a small position as you know they're critics i mean i've had them when it was at 400 bucks they said it was going to pull back to 200 when it was at 300 they said it was going to pull back again to to that 180 when it was at 600 they said it was going to pull back to 400 it's just you know they're just missing the trade and then they're missing the logic behind the trade this is our future this is electric cars they're number one or years in advance of any electric car dealer out there right now and it just gets better and better and I've gone through three or four videos talking about the steps that it's taking and why it's got so bullish here lately so this is Tesla we're gonna pull this back we got the resistance levels that I did call out 16470 17540 and 880 excuse me 864.70, 875.40, and 883.42, and we do have some more resistances on, on the way up. You know, it could run to 890 tomorrow if this thing takes off, 890. Let's go ahead and put that on here just in case, and I'll be ready for tomorrow right there at 8, well, let's make it 888. I almost made it 88888, but we made it 888.87. For long support level is going to be right down here and let's go ahead and bring this back up to the one minute 838.76 848.46 and 855.55 now I've heard guys in here make fun of people that call these numbers out but when you call them out or when I do a lot of times they're pretty much right on the spot that's going to be Tesla Enjoy the trade this week. We're going to create a new channel, maybe get back up to a double top high and pull back and try to find a new channel. We did break that resistance of last week at 8.13.37, and we've just started off to another great day with an ascending triangle. And this is Tessa. Always remember, ring that subscribe and ring that bell. And you can follow us on our website, or you can follow us here on Twitter. Hit that follow button. And Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. And we've also got our stock twits accounts. Hit the follow button. And she's posting alerts in here. I also have my little thing right down below, right here. Hit that follow button. I'm up to 2,500 followers. I think I'll have that by 26 by the end of the month. And this is Tesla. Have a great day.